Welcome back to Fox News Saturday night. Did an alien craft crash into the South Pacific in 2014? A group of scientists, including my next guest, claim to have found hundreds of tiny metal fragments from something that came from outer space and landed off the coast of New Guinea. The 700 tiny spheres are made of an alloy, we're told, is not found here on Earth or even in our solar system. So, are we uh, now looking at proof that aliens not only exist, but they visited us? Joining me now, the man behind the search, Harvard physicist, Dr. Avi Loeb. Hello, Dr. Loeb, good to see you again. Great to see you. So, uh, a lot of people have been doubting your hypotheses over the years. What kind of proof does this offer your doubters that uh, something that we have never encountered has actually landed here on Earth? Well, we went to the Pacific Ocean uh, near the site of this uh, meteor and found um, an, an excess of uh, molten droplets uh, from the surface of the object uh, when it entered the atmosphere and burned up. And uh, amazingly, uh, these droplets uh, have a composition of elements that uh, is very different than what we find here on Earth, on the Moon, uh, on Mars, or anywhere in the solar system. Uh, for example, there are elements like beryllium, lanthanum, and uranium that are hundreds of times uh, more abundant than you find in solar system materials. And that tells us that this object came from outside the solar system, that it's interstellar. It's the first time that scientists analyzed materials from an object uh, half a meter in size that came from outside the solar system. And the next question is, well, if it came from outside, is, is, is it a Voyager-like uh, meteor? Namely, uh, imagine our spacecraft moving out of the solar system and colliding with a planet like the Earth. It would appear as a meteor of unusual materials uh, because it's made of stainless steel and also of unusual speed like this one was. Uh, and uh, in fact, the U.S. government satellites uh, detected it moving so fast that it's Actually, we concluded it's faster than 95% of all the stars in the vicinity of the sun. And its material was tougher than all the space rocks previously cataloged by NASA. So the next question is, you know, is it artificial or natural? And we hope to go back to that location. Now we know exactly where to look and uh, check if there are big pieces of the original object so that we can tell the difference between a rock and a technological gadget because the gadget will have buttons on it. So you have been working with the U.S. military for years trying to pinpoint the location of entry, but you've had a lot of scientists like Steve Desch, who's an astrophysicist at Arizona State. Uh, they have been doubting your work and maligning your reputation. Uh, what do you have to say to some of those doubters? Well, I wish them happiness and prosperity. You know, everything else is uh, some, you know, for their therapies to deal with. Uh, because I'm following um, the scientific method. I'm collecting materials and studying them in the laboratory and reporting the results in a scientific paper. That's the work of science. And what they're doing is just expressing their opinions, calling names. That's not the way scientists should behave. No, that's Fauci science. That's not real science. So let me ask you this. What does your gut tell you? Is this some sort of interstellar meteor? Or is this uh, something that was artificially manufactured by some sort of intelligent life form beyond our reach? Well, it's sort of strange. You know, we, we don't know where it came from. I'm thinking about natural sources. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to be quite unusual, like, uh, for example, a planet with a magma ocean uh, that has a, a, an iron core that could, in principle, produce these ab abundances. But uh, then you need a lot of these objects, and it's hard to imagine how that would be produced, 10 to the power 23 of them per star. And then uh, another possibility is that it's uh, material ejected from an exploding star. And that, again, has some issues because there are some elements uh, that are 
uh, enhance that mm -hmm. do not come from exploding stars. So yeah. uh, the final possibility is technological origin. And, you know, some of these elements are used in semiconductors. So I think uh, the verdict is still uh, out. I mean, we need to go back and, and check for bigger pieces. That will tell yeah. us the story. I, I want bigger pieces. I want LGMs. I want all the answers. And you seem to be the only physicist out there uh, from Harvard, no less, who is looking for the truth. Dr. Avi Loeb, thank you so much.